I didn't know they drank. Today I would like to go over Sons of the Forest update number three. Let's go. First things first, they added the night five. In a nutshell, you fall a lot and you run into everything. So it's cool. We messed around with it a little bit. We built a half pipe for it and um, it didn't come out as well as I would have liked. I've come into my game that has no trees in it and um, it's excellent for traveling when there's no trees. It is faster, but when there's trees in the way, it's it's nasty. It's awful. But I found eight locations for the EUC, and here they are. I have labeled the zone in which they are in. I have not found anything on the golf course side of the island, which surprises me and kind of leads me to believe that maybe they will add a golf cart at some point. I've been able to find eight. There might be more. I'm like 80% sure that there's only eight of them. There's like 11 gliders, so... Maybe there's more, and if you know of any locations, um, definitely let me know, and I will make this image downloadable in the comment down below. They have added light bulbs and solar panels, which I think is pretty neat. Obviously, they're gonna have to add a battery pack, a storage device, because this should not be on. It's not currently storing power. I went in to see how many light bulbs a single solar panel could handle, and um, honestly, I stopped counting because the answer is a lot. Um, more than you're probably gonna need so this is all running off of one I have found solar panels and light bulbs in the crates with yellow lids you can also find light bulbs in the 3d printer cave near the forest spawn and also the solar panels in the 3d printer cave by the forest spawn ramps and stairs can now be built between a beam and a wall here's a ramp and stairs this is a very welcome change. I'm really hoping for more building updates because I'm not keen on it. I'm not, I don't like it at this point. I like the idea, but as somebody who has a degree in architecture and many, many years of construction experience in the field, it frustrates me in a big way. I realize that it's early access, so I'll zip my lip. The mannequin is now an official armor rack, which is really, really good. You can now put your creepy armor and your bone armor up whenever you want. And it will hold a full stack of 10. I would say that this is, was good considering the amount of mutants that spawn in caves after a certain amount of days, but they fixed that, which affects my video directly. Adjusted creepy spawning logic in caves should no longer visibly spawn and should not lead to over the top of mounts of enemies in caves over time. Which I covered in a video on how you should manipulate the game logic to advance yourself in the early game. So that video is now obsolete. So before, when you would walk into a cave on day 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, you would find 20 mutants in there. And I wish that this was around then. Another new addition is night vision goggles and I have found two of them and they are both in the gold armor cave. I wouldn't bother with the other one. I'm not even gonna show you where it is. The problem with the other location is once you go in, you can't get back out and you have to go all the way through. One of them is right here on this guy in this chair. This could easily be considered the exit of the cave and you can uh, put them on by pressing L. So it, it acts the same as your lighter and your flashlight. The good thing about this is when you light a Molotov, it actually does pull out your your lighter for you. When you pull a mol Molotov out with your flashlight, it still holds your flashlight, so you have to go back in and equip your lighter separately. Uh, this is not for me. I'm not gonna use these. I prefer the flashlight. This is what they look like outside in the light. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's bright. So there are a lot of features in this update. And I'm not going to go through all of them, but I'll go through a few. Uh, dead babies float. I feel like there's a dead baby joke in there somewhere. Totally tasteless, I know. They have buoyancy now. So you can now pick up and carry puffies. So you have two choices. You can pick them up or you can harvest them for creepy armor. That's a good feature. Yeah, I'm on fire. <laughs> so that means you can now get bones and creepy armor from puffies. Cool. 
The next thing that they have added is the spring trap, which is uh, super fun. I really feel like this is a very novelty type item. This thing is definitely cool. And um, I love that it's reusable and you can just use it over and over and over again. My first few thoughts when I saw this is, this is gonna be great for getting up to the top of your building. It's great for defenses. It's super fun and you can launch deer like miles and miles. If you go into the backside of the rope gun and you get to that cliff, you can jump up to the top from there. My next thought was that, um, boy, I hope they took something into consideration in the shovel cave. So I've tried this uh, several times and I've worked it out. So it allows you to jump over, but in a brand new game where I have not taken the rope yet, there's like an invisible blockade here. And though I've tried many times, I wasn't able to get it. It's worth more testing. If, um, if, you, if you're able to get it done, let me know. They're gonna wanna patch that and we're gonna wanna let them know cause that's, I don't know. I mean, it's cool for a speed run and stuff, but yeah. It doesn't work very well on big mutants but it seems to work pretty good for babies. Yeah, that's about all it does. Ready? Ooh! It's great for babies. <laughs> so fun, that's so fun. Ooh. <laughs> that is awesome. And for these uh, the puffies, let's see how they do as the puffies. Launched us both. <laughs> if I'm being honest, this whole update is is highly novelty, in my opinion, and um, uh, that's good because people need to have a little bit of fun with the game. It's been oh shit, it's been pretty grindy. Yeah, it's been a pretty grindy game. That's why I've started jumping into a developer console and stuff. There's a bunch of other ones that I can I could rattle off. Uh, Kelvin can now pick up all types of arrows, visibly carry them, and uh, drop the proper type of arrow. I'm expecting arrow storage at some point to go with that. Flash water and bone maker traps will no longer uh, trigger small animals. I wish the spring trap was like that too. Uh, spring traps make squirrels go very, very far. <laughs> There's a ton more. It, to be honest, it's been covered a million times. A cannibal ability to dodge heavy attacks is increased, which it was already pretty rough. So uh, look out for that one. Increased John 2.0 damage to structures. Uh, this is this is gonna be a tough one. And if you're wondering what John 2.0 is, that's that's this guy, the wormy guy. So he does more damage to your structure now, which is um, not the best news in the world and enemies now flee further when scared which is insane because they they ran a long way to begin with i know because i followed them out of curiosity this update has been covered to death i did however want to tell you where to find the night vision goggles and the night five so i'm gonna stop it here cheers have a good day and i'll see you in the next video where'd it go did i already pick him up Shit.